being three pointers. Uh, Western Carolina did as, as good a job as I've seen them. I've seen a ton of their games this year on film, and obviously seen them uh, on the same court twice. Uh, they were as good today defensively as I've seen them. They had an extra uh, bounce in this step. Uh, they were they were quick to to recover and cover up uh, hedges that they are um, accustomed to making. Uh, they covered up well, played really well uh, as a team defensively. As a result, we had a difficult time getting it in the post. And then when we got it in the post, uh, they seemed to have a hand or uh, maybe even a second body in there to crowd the post, and we had a difficult time. Um, making moves and, and getting easy shots inside. Coach, can you just reminisce about your first year as a head coach and what it's been like? And, and also, Drew made mention of it. You guys have a big win yesterday over Bob McKillop, who, who's been a big mentor for you. Uh, Elon University is a special place. And um, I, I felt that way back in March when uh, Dave Blank offered me the job. And uh, I feel that way a lot uh, stronger now. And um, it's special because of the people that are there. And we had a difficult year in many, many ways, um, particularly our win-loss record and uh, some of the losses that we had early in the year. But, boy, Dave Blank and, um, and, and Leo Lambert, our president, and uh, the, the community is behind our basketball program. And, and you feel that. Uh, after a tough loss, and um, th that is a comforting feeling that um, that I'm not doing this alone as a basketball coach, or, or our staff is not in this alone, or our staff and players aren't trying to, to lay a foundation and build a program by ourselves, but our administration is behind us. And um, when you have an administration like that behind you, and if, if you guys haven't been to Burlington and Elon, our community is bubbling over. And uh, we, we piggyback on what Pete Limbo and our football program has done, Mike Kennedy and our baseball program, and I can name every coach. Karen Barefoot's got a ton of energy, our, our women's basketball coach. Um, the good things are going to happen at Elon, and it's going to happen sooner rather than later. And um, to, to get a win uh, even three weeks ago over Greensboro was, was, a, was a win that our, our seniors really wanted, and um, that was a great victory. And then yesterday was um, a, a victory that, had eluded our seniors for a while, and and uh, it was really uh, a special moment for us. And and this building has got a ton of history. Uh, I grew up in this area, coming to to different events in this building, and it's a, the city of Charlotte uh, hosting the Southern Conference tournament. It just seems to me like it fits. And uh, they were uh, really a great host, and uh, it's neat uh, to be in a, a great building like this. Front bring you back to the game for a second. Did you feel like there were just so many possessions that you would run something, you'd run something, you'd get nothing, and then you'd end up jacking something up at the end of the shot Western call? Carolina defensively, Adam, was really, really quick. And um, we, we did not get good looks at all in the first half. And uh, we would run uh, some sets that had been working really well for us in this month um, that we had tinkered with a little bit and, and had different uh, options out of them. But it seemed like Western Carolina did a good job of, of shutting down or contesting all those options. And as a result, the shot clock went down on us. And uh, they played uh, 35 seconds of defense on many possessions. And uh, as a result, there were several possessions we did not get good looks. And uh, we had to work for everything we got offensively, particularly in the first half, but it carried through to a lot of points in the second half. Time for two more down the front. Go ahead. Uh, seemed to be a real tough time for Adam out there. Can you just talk about how much that hurt not getting the, expect, the expected production from him? It seemed like you know just wouldn't fall in, and I think it was uh, about ten minutes in the second half when he finally got his first field goal and the only one of the game. Uh, Adam's a warrior, and um, we we have relied heavily on Adam uh, emotionally as a team. He's carried us in many in, in many times, and uh, and I he had a sensational year. I was glad it was rewarded by the media as an all-conference player because I think he deserved it. And um, when, you t when a team takes an option away from you, like uh, uh, the presence of Adam and the production that we are typically expect from him, uh, it makes it more difficult uh, to flow offensively. And uh, as a result, you see we shot 33s. Uh, we're not um, at all shy about taking a three, but um, they would have been better looks from three if we'd have had um, 
the opportunity to, to score some in the paint. And the Western Carolina just did a good job and made it difficult for us. Last one. Yeah. Coach, going back to what you told me in October, do you feel like you accomplished your three team goals before the season? Yes. Uh, we, we wanted um, to get better every day. We did. We wanted to have fun, and I'll tell you, um, we had a lot of fun. And um, um, every day and some of those losses weren't a whole heck of a lot of fun, but we, we enjoyed this year. We, as a team, um, got closer together. It's a family, and um, we wanted to play to win, and, and I think uh, anybody that saw the last two games saw that we played to win. Coach, thank you.